Mulder made contact. He didn't have the reaction we expected. Just the opposite. I don't think Mulder's gonna make it. That's unacceptable. The success of the project depends on the life and death of Agent Mulder. I've read both your reports. Despite the efforts of firefighters from surrounding counties, the town of Red Falls was razed to the ground. Agent Mulder, I'm aware of and disturbed by your sighting of Alex Krychek at the Briar Lake facility, as well as the bizarre circumstances under which an artifact he told you was alien in origin disappeared from that facility. An artifact emitting a force strong enough to regenerate life in a three-mile radius surrounding Briar Lake. Agent Scully, you mentioned evidence of a toxin? We did encounter a poisonous compound that I believe responsible for most of the deaths in Colorado. Hazmat crews scoured Briar Lake and were unable to come up with anything. The facility was stripped and abandoned. A well-funded program gets a grade A cover-up. I'd look for the union label on this one. Your sarcasm aside, Agent Mulder, I'm trying to help. Now, the three Colorado murder victims you originally went to investigate, their bodies actually made it out of there. I was able to quietly divert them to Quantico. I'll head right over. Good. This may be our only chance of producing tangible evidence, unless you have something else. No. I have a director's briefing that I'm already late for. If there was a toxin, I want you two to make sure you're not suffering any residual effects. Update me after you've looked at those bodies. And Mulder, I suggest you step back from this case for a while. Mulder, I still don't know why you want to hide the encrypted disk I found at Briar Lake from Skinner. Getting those bodies to Quantico, he clearly wants to help us. It's not that I don't trust Skinner. It's who he reports to. Besides, I'd rather have that disk decrypted outside the normal channels. And now we get a look at Skinner's office. Eventually, when I start walking around, there we go. Flashlight. And for whatever reason, we cannot draw our gun. I'm guessing the thought process behind that being that that would be a little too suspicious. So we've seen that cigarette smoking guy, CGB Spender, hang out over there. That door back over where we were is where Albert Hosteen from season two and season three, um, Skinner had him kind of hiding out for a little bit before pissing off the cigarette smoking guy. We got it. this receptionist area. The assistant director is in a meeting and won't be free for a few hours. Fantastic. Good job, receptionist. Dude, I, I've actually had this sexual fantasy lately, and this may disturb people, but I'm going to share anyways. Uh, me being like some CEO at some company, and I'm hiring a assistant, or an assistant, and of course she's... The girl I'm interviewing is incredibly hot, and I'm, like, making her do stuff in order to get the job. Uh, or, yeah, that's pretty accurate. And, yeah, that's been a fantasy of mine lately. I just thought I would share. So here are the offices. Would you watch it, please? Piss off. Would you watch it, please? Piss I'm off. Sorry, you need something? Uh, not for me, or no. Um, I need that assistant I've been fantasizing about, though. Hey, it's Dr. Lee. Agents, I just got new spectrophotometric plates of the Amityville house, and I gotta tell you, the light quantum proportions are freaky. Hey, stop by, check it out. Okay, his character name on the show is actually Chuck. He's been in a two or three episodes. I can't remember, not very many. Likeable character, though. Uh, but he played Dr. Lee on Stargate, the actor did. Watch it, Agent. Piss off. Is there a problem here? Yeah, you're being a dick. What the hell? Why does the guy sound like a chick? <sighs> oh well, I don't remember seeing some of these hallways. Um, some of them look familiar. Ah, this Agent guy. Mulder. Agent Scully. I understand your X file in Colorado didn't end well. Fuck you, Kirsch. Fuck you. Season six onward. He suddenly, well, if you haven't seen the entire, yeah, shy light in your eyes. Can't draw my gun, can't punch you, I figure I'll at least blind you. Dick. He actually does something helpful in season 9 in the last episode, but they never explain why he does it. He's a dick, though. Well, it's about time. Hello, man. 
I'm guessing you cracked the encrypted disk? It wasn't easy. There was some interesting nonlinear sequencing to overcome. But the real trick was the language. You mean the programming language? No, we're talking native tongue. Once we broke the firewall, we found the text to be in Russian. Russian? The characters are Cyrillic, but once run through a simple translation sequencer... Voila! Presto changeo! Insert your exclamation of awe here. And buddy, I think you'll want to take a look at this. Tunguska. The Siberian prison camp, where you were held and infected with a virus. An alien virus, Scully. Don't leave out that important detail. What does it say? An artifact confirmed to be alien in origin was unearthed recently from the excavation site at Tunguska. Imagine the implications of such a find. Later in the report, it mentions possible experimentation by a corporation known as Rausch Biotechnologies. Do we know their location? There was nothing in the data, but... We can do some nosing around. We'll get back to you. Good work, guys. Hello? Marita, it's Fox Mulder. Is it all right to call you like this? Yes. I don't know if you're in a position to help me, like before. What exactly do you need, Agent Mulder? I'm sending you a file. I want you to read it. If you can help, meet with me. And the number of characters from the show just keep going. Yeah, there's Mulder's I Want to Believe poster. And this is Office. I'm, I'm kind of glad. Open this desk and we will get sunflower seeds. Something that Mulder really likes. Damn it. And yeah, sunflower seeds. I don't know if that's actually the, what the package looks like in the show, but you know. We'll find out what that's for later. I kind of waste it, but it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, I think it's cool. We're seeing the office, Skinner's office, Mulder's office. There's a little more of this area that I neglect to go to, and I apologize for that. But hopefully, at Scully's game, we will we'll go there. Come on, elevator. We've got places to go, people to do. Oh yeah, that's right, people to do. Because I'm a perv that way. So yeah, if you're offended at all by that share oversharing on my part, well. I apologize. I actually really love the musical score going on right now. It's really cool. I remember what episode this is on. Actually, I remember what episode the first piece in this video was on too, but I know way too much about the show. Uh, part of that being that I've rewatched it a few times and the DVDs have a lot of this music in the menus. First aid kit, be sure to grab that. And, god damn, Mulder, I thought my place was filthy. Shit. And, and so, like, they'd have the music in there, so I'd remember the music really well from seeing the video, you know, watching the show a few times. So whenever I would rewatch it every now and again, I'd be like, oh, hey, there's that musical piece. That's where that came from. Oh, uh, Rausch, Rausch Biotechnologies, that's mentioned in the first part of season five. Definitely episode th two, maybe even episode one of that season. I can't remember if it's mentioned in the season four finale or not, but that's a three-parter. Like I said, I'm going to be pointing out everything I can. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Ammo clip. Everything I can from the show, I'm trying to point out. Because I'm nice that way. Scully, what did you find? What did I find? Mulder, you're hiding things from me. What are you talking about? There's something you're not telling me. What are you doing here? Scully, I called Marita Covarubias. She can help us. You're a fool, Mulder. Do you really think you can trust her? Scully, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Do you trust Marita Covarubias more than me? Something's wrong. I, I want you to... Tell me what you know! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. This is not cool. That is the alien bounty hunter from the season four premiere and season three finale. Let's go. We can't kill it. So just run away. Run away. Samantha. Yeah. That's something related to a sister. If you're not familiar with the show. Well, I don't know what to tell you. So that door is marked zero. Well, just go the way I go and you'll be okay. God damn it. Piss off. Oh. Crap. There's two of them. Get off. Get off. 
I do not want to hug. I'm not into an all guy three way. All right. Me being the only guy in a three way. Sure. Is that that? That's the bounty hunter dude. Wow. He's following me all the way over here. Me being the only guy in a three way. Sure. But that's about the only three way I'd be down with. Not an all guy three way. Not cool. Not cool. So I guess we gotta be on our guard for that, because apparently he's gonna show up. I figured we'd leave him back in the apartment. Oh, <sighs> whatever. So yeah, I apologize for the delay in videos. I had two old friends of mine, independently of each other, visit me. I already went this way, didn't I? God damn it. So this past week has been very busy for me. But fun. So. Yeah. Hey, look where we are. We're back here. And nobody's here this time. Which is kind of fine because really the only guy that we came across that I was okay with was Chuck. He's the only guy that wasn't a dick to us. Come over here and grab the shotgun and equip it because you're going to want it. Oh, yeah. Shotgun. kind of imagine we're going to need it if I'm equipping it. I don't know if there are any other items around there. I didn't bother to look. And instead, we're coming in here. Let's go see what Skinner's up to. You've got to be able to tell what's happening by now, I would imagine. Maybe not the cause, but... Hey, another health item. Be sure to grab that. I have She's against you spate. Something about we are late. Maybe we are very late? I think that's right. Ich warte nicht gerne. Do you know why you're here? This isn't real. I told you to back away from this case. Take the gun. Why? Take the gun, Mulder. Trust no one, Agent Mulder. What am I supposed to do? Kill him. Kill him, Agent Mulder. So helpless. To know that I can pull this trigger. I'm the reason you're alive, Fox. But while I hold this power, you'll learn that there is still a greater one. A power I need you to destroy. Now, kill him. Alright, so... We've got to deal with the Rexonist and Skinner. I really wish I knew how to switch targets because he's got a freaking machine gun. Apparently, she seems to be glitching out. Come on. Bye. Thank you. Fuck you. Here I wanted to bone you. Actually, I really did. I don't know if she's actually a character from the show. I know he's had receptionists. But I don't know if she's like a receptionist from the show. She probably is. But she's not somebody we see very often. So I, I can't tell for sure. But yeah. I... That fantasy I've mentioned, I've had that one quite often lately, and it's, it's, it's worked out really nicely for me. I mean, I'm not really like that in person. Like, I wouldn't be like that, so... Like, I wouldn't be the type to make chicks do stuff or things they need. Or, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I come across as a perv in my videos, but I'm really not that bad. I'm just not funny if I'm not making with the sexual humor is all. Hell, even when I make with the sexual humor, I'm not really that funny. Alright, we're back in here, and now I highly recommend you save. As soon as I can find the save point. Come on, Mulder. Come on, Mulder. There it is. Yeah! Hey, big guy. You feel any better? Mulder, you don't look well. You're infected. I need you to get in bed and lie down. We were able to find a direct link between Rausch Biotechnologies and the alien conspiracy. They're following a script right out of Plan 9 from outer space. Speaking of Plan 9, I'm still not convinced Edward's death wasn't political assassination. Of course, the dude knew way too much. Anyway, we were able to backtrace the digital data to its point of origin, and we reached a server containing files as far back as 1947, the Aurora Project. It's Roswell. We don't need to tell you that. It's every answer to every question we ever dreamed of. What's wrong, Mulder? We thought you'd be stoked. Mulder, I need to give you this injection. 
Hell no. No sense of urgency as far as music Mulder, goes, but you're sick. Let me do this. Mulder. No, no, no. This isn't kinky. This isn't kinky like I like it. This is this is you trying to do bad shit to me and I'm not okay with that. Kinky shit would be fine, but not bad shit. And I did mention I'm not a huge Scully fan, but you know what? I wouldn't have said no. Okay. So, um, I had a funny dream recently. Well, last night. It was kind of weird. Um, I don't know if anybody has seen the show Millennium. It's kind of, it was another show done by Chris Carter. And a lot of his people, Mark Snow, the guy that does the music for the show, did the music for that. Hands down the best theme music of a TV show ever. I love the theme music for that show. Uh, but I really liked it, and then they ended up kind of crossing it over. They had little hints that it might be in the same universe anyways, but then they actually did a full-on crossover episode with the X-Files after Millennium ended. So, um, but I had a dream. I was watching an episode of that, and somehow Liv from Law & Order SVU and Mulder and Scully were all in it. So it was like a three-show crossover thing. It was... Pretty cool, and I was kind of disappointed when I woke up and it wasn't real. Made me kind of sad. And here's hoping I don't die here, because that would be really bad. Alright. I remember this crap. Here's... I don't think... I don't know I was about to say here's what, but... Um, I don't think that... Let's see what these sunflower seeds do. I assume they're a health item. They are a health item. I probably wasted them because they're probably a good help. God damn it. Anyways, I don't know that this temple thing or any of this stuff is from the show. If it is, somebody could let me know. That would be cool. Uh, like I said, I've tried to point out everything I can from the show that I recognize, but I don't recognize anything from the show here. Yeah, if you can't tell by now, Mulder's tripping balls, basically. And they'll explain why here coming up. Uh, this is why I said I hate this episode for Mulder. I'm not a fan of dream sequence episodes or alternate reality shows. Yet I'm a Stargate fan, but they abused alternate reality in that show. So um, that's why I'm not a fan of this. What your mood is this? You are not a disciple. You are not here to serve me. I can hear you. You're an assassin. What is this place? Your mind turning in on itself. You have found me. The same way I speak to the angels. The angels who will join me to deliver the last judgment, the day of reckoning. You have found me! Ah, hell. Okay, we're definitely not an assassin. Why? Because Frank Black from Millennium does not work with assassins. And in a Season 7 episode of The X-Files, Frank Black works with Mulder and Skull. So... We're definitely not assassins. All right, I, I watched an episode of Millennium. Yeah. Actually, watching all three shows that I mentioned, having that dream about. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Hooray! And I'm stuck. That's awesome. This is special. I don't know if we can actually damage these assholes. You're supposed to actually let them kill you, but I figure since we're gonna lose all our stuff when we oh. Wow. Since we're gonna lose all our stuff when we go to the next episode anyways, and this is about the end of this episode, I figure I'm gonna put as much damage into them as possible, because fuck it, why not? But yeah, I'm sure that explains why I had that dream. It was awesome though. I love crossovers between shows that have. It doesn't happen enough. Ah, damn it. Guys are dicks. <coughs> what is that? What did you inject me with? Agent Mulder, you're hurting me. It's a shot to help you. Against the radiation coursing through you. Marita, how did you know? After reading the data you sent me, I knew you were possibly in danger. Then it's true. The artifact is alien, emitting a cosmic galactic radiation level strong enough to kill us. I have to call Scully. I did as you asked. I arranged travel for you on a Russian transport plane. If you're going to leave for Tunguska, it must be tonight. Scully. Scully, it's Mulder. Mulder, thank God. I need to see you as soon as possible. Our nervous systems are producing a substance akin to tetrodotoxin at lethal levels. Due to exposure to radiation. The CGR that emanated from the alien artifact. You know? How? 
I'm here with Marita Covarrubias. She gave me an injection to counteract the toxin. Are you all right, Scully? Yes, I caught it in time. What is Marita Covarrubias doing there? I asked for her help. She's arranged passage for me to Russia, Tunguska. I have reason to believe the artifact has been returned there, but I don't know for how long. Mulder, I'm here with the gunman. I think they have a lead on this Rausch Biotech Corporation. Do you think it's a good idea to be jetting off to Russia based on what? You have to trust me on this, Scully. Find what you can from Rausch Biotech, but I have to go.